Hello and welcome to uh, Sentence. This is Supreme Commander Forge Lines. We are basically now in paradise. Hopefully the sound isn't uh, too bad. Thanks for letting me know that uh, my voice was a little too quiet. But this should be slightly improved. And uh, we got a sentence here with extremely good players. One player you might not recognize, uh, HAL 9000. Not a smurf, a new player, very good. Uh, make sure you scout him because if you don't, he will snipe you. That did happen to me a little while, uh, probably a month or two ago. I um, was really disappointed with what happened. But he's taking on Hawk, so that's definitely going to be very difficult. Uh, Hawk playing with uh, Cybern, so Hal Yeef versus uh, Cybern from Rock will be very difficult. Uh, the other ocean matchup extremely good. Of course, we got Dim or MNB playing Seraphim. He's going to be taking on the Penetrator, who is actually Andy Rue, uh, so Cybern. So it looks like uh, the bottom side going with Cybern from both uh, naval positions. The middle uh, is going to be Sind versus BCT. So two classic sentence players. Definitely know what they're doing, and it looks like we got a Cybern show here today. At least from the bottom. Let's see if the back is Cybern. No. We got Lion, or one of the killers. One of the better French players on Sentence. Going with Aeon from the back, so three Cybers and an Aeon. And let's see who gets more mass. Looks like this engineer from Sin, very aggressive, going straight for one of the shipwrecks. And in the back here, we got Furball, so another very good player. A bomber from Dim. This is always good to see. He always tries to help out his allies. Getting the scout like this is excellent, and now he's going to spot a target. Getting an NG is probably going to be the best idea, Sin being pretty aggressive. Looks like he's going to go after the Engineer. Oh, nope, Dim didn't get him because uh, Sin did. Dim really good scout straight ahead of the Bomber. He's going to spot any more Engineers and losing these early NGs. With your ACU out in the field is uh, quite uh, disturbing. Oh, here's this Engineer. Kind of finished its job, but... We are seeing uh, the players, the beach players, giving power to their uh, mid players. And now it appears we're going to see a fight for this island between Hawk and HAL 9000. HAL going second air, actually not producing anything from his air factor anymore. A bit disappointing. And let's see. Here's just three engineers. And this transport was caught by Hawk, Hawk, Hawk with good scouting. Let's see if that works out. And in the middle, T up here cleaning up. Actually here coming up minute 5, looks like all uh, mass has been captured from the middle. Let's see the numbers, T up with 4,000, Send uh, with 6,300, so nearly 2,500 more. And of course it's not uh, surprising given the really good scouting from Dim. No challenge for the island. Uh, against them from Penetrator or Andy Roo. Andy Roo, of course, also has his own casting channel. Unfortunately, I can't link it on the sides because of the way he made his name. YouTube gets confused. And it appears that uh, Hakuta here just getting mass extractors and he's going to get a factory a little later. A little more uh, eco, a little less uh, safe than he probably could be. And a lot of scouts here. Another transport coming in for Hal. Let's see if it's spotted. And now these, these are great Manti all the way to Hawk's base from Sind, running past Tiep. See what they can do, there's really nothing that could shoot back at them. They spread out, can kill quite a few engineers. Maybe a couple of mass extractors radar. Them, no problems taking his island. Got a factory, he's got some arty there, also a transport, so we should expect drops from him. But overall, the top side did, did get a pretty big uh, mass advantage. Let's see how that turns out. Hal now going into the water. Meanwhile, uh, a lot of naval factories for Hawk. Of course, Hal uh, 9000, the reference from Space Odyssey 2001, one of the greatest movies ever, in case you haven't seen it. And actually, Hal challenging Hawk for the island. He actually made it. There was a point defense standoff which he has won, and he's got a factory, and it looks like Hal might actually grab the island from one of the better naval players or sentence players in history. It's going to be a great victory for Hal, it seems. 
looks like uh, Andy Rue beginning to take over air control in his ocean, very uncharacteristic. Although Dim, for the most part, flying over the middle. Now some flag from TIP, also some TMD. T2 ACU for TIP. Neither player really going for a big uh, land spam, just uh, taking up. And it appears now it's a no way back for Hawk. He has lost his island. A great victory for Hal 9000. Of course, right now we're going through a very good phase for uh, Supreme Commander for the Lions. Uh, yesterday, Sunday, we had 700 plus players on playing, which is, uh, I don't think it's a record, but it's close. I remember last week it was about 600, a week before it was about 500, so it's a very steep increase. If it keeps going like that, I'm really hoping we see about 1,000 average on the weekend uh, by spring, which I think is already way past Supreme Commander 2, what Supreme Commander 2 was. Uh, about a year ago, but I think now it's completely dead. So it's a it's a great testament to uh, justice, I guess. And some tech two point defenses from Sind also with a stealth field. Tiep uh, definitely not a good move to rush into this position. Looks like a victory for Sind. He's going to have uh, metal control. Also, cruise missile launcher, which has a couple of missiles but no kills. And uh, maybe I'll have to eat my words here. This land spam from TF actually getting some success. Those tech two point defenses from Sind falling, failing. 16 kills on this tech two point defense though. Sind with 10 kills. And uh, this will be for the most part just uh, a whole bunch of wrecks. Sind really not in too much danger at all except that TF has got a tech two point defense. So evening out this middle position, 19 kills for Sind. A bit surprising, I thought there was plenty of defense for Sind. Now looking at, oh, a tech 2 drop now from Furball. Furball playing a little dangerously because uh, once you start making these tech 2 drops and the other air player doesn't, you are gambling. This is very expensive to do against a player who's gone straight into eco. And this island firmly in Hell 9000's hands. Another great thing that's going on with FAF uh, or for Supreme Commander for Alliance, we have so many new casters. Remember, for, for a long time, it was just me, Napalm, Guile. Oh, this drop is successful. Let's see how well it does. It's going to take out that point defense. All oh, this transport is not going to. Uh, and one good way to defend against the RDS course is to take your engineers and just reclaim it. Very difficult to kill uh, Unistar right next to your artillery with the artillery. So it looks like uh, still a couple RDs running away but minimal damage. And I think that may have been a mistake from Furball. Only one drop. Oh this is this is a lot of drops now from Dim. Multiple drops if those get in this could cause all, all kinds of problems. So here minute 12 we are seeing Tech 2 Navy from all the different players. Except Hal. Hal does not have Tech 2 Navy. Let's see if this drop is successful. Definitely successful. We have a mix of artillery and tanks. It's going to be very difficult to fight against. One point defense is successful. Gets taken out. And uh, there is only engineers here. So I think Dim is in a position to completely dominate this area unless some gunships or something come out. And another successful drop on the other side. So this is classic Dim. We see gunships from uh, Penetrator. Those need to go, to go to work. And some gunships now from uh, the back glare, the lion. Looks like uh, they only lost one mass extractor here on the side, and somehow I'm not really sure why Dim is moving away from this position. I think he was in very good shape to kill all three mass extractors, but now the ship from uh, Penetrator is going to take care of it. Another drop coming in from Dim. And actually, Dim killing Tech 2 gunships with his Tech 1 transports. Now this cruiser is going to get a lot of kills and now frigate coming in from uh, Dim. And yet another drops it seems so. See up in huge problems. More drops coming in from Dim. This is massive drops. This is beautiful to see. This is uh, we know that oh this drop unfortunate. The cruiser great defense against the aerial assaults just barely drops those off. So all kinds of problems, gun trips from the bottom side trying to put out the fires. Meanwhile, Hal 9000 in the process of losing uh, this island. Seen a bunch of Tech 2 Navy and a submarine, massive submarine fight. 
but we're going to see a bit of a naval fight in the middle. We see two destroyers from BIM, one cruiser and two take two subs from the penetrator. Actually, I actually think these two subs can take on this force if they take out the damaged destroyer. Three submarines now sub. And now cruiser, and this is going to be all kinds of uh, bad news for Tip Tip's base, actually, very much devastated. This might uh, allow Sin to go in. Sin is getting quite a bit of reclaim. It's an excellent piece of drop uh, use of transports here we've seen in the last couple of minutes from BIM, forcing the other players to do uh, quite a bit. One thing that is going to be a problem looks like Hawk is way ahead of Hal. Hal did get that island, but uh, was a little late on the Navy. Looks like his eco is not as good either. He's getting a lot of build capacity now in his nail factory. You never want to neglect Tech 1, and you don't want to make Tech 1 with your Tech 2 factory. And yet another drop coming in, but looks like Navy has been won by Dim here in the middle. And with this cruiser in excellent position, it's going to take a lot of TMD from TF not to lose his entire base. He already lost quite a few mass characters. And now gunships from uh, Lion. Try to help out uh, Andy Rook here. Who keeps getting more and more uh, build capacity on his Tech 2 factory. Looks like Tech 2 submarines is what he's going to go for. <clears throat> but I guess, as I was saying, it was for a while Napalm, uh, Guile, and me casting for the longest time. And then it's uh, Swackle showed up. And then. Uh, See the Who, Zephyr X, and uh, Zlaw, all these different guys, and uh, hopefully they keep doing it so we get a pretty big scene going. And now you can see there's plenty of uh, replays to watch like every day, and they're pretty high quality, especially you see the Who and uh, Zephyr X, the two new casters. Very clear uh, when you listen to them, but they've only done a couple, so they have the potential to become very entertaining. They already are. But I think uh, after watching how players improve with their casting after 10 or 20 so casts, it makes a huge difference once you get used to watching a game and anything. And those guys are already quite good. Of course, it seems uh, Zaphod uh, X was hoping I'm um, calling his uh, name right. Um, did a bunch of Minecraft and things. It looks like we have torpedo bombers from Dim. That's one good thing about Dim. He always tries to help out his allies going up against uh, this naval force from Hawk. See the EF trying to use the shields. Hawk is going to try to kite these destroyers, though, once they get close, are quite good. See Hawk with nice uh, micro trying to maximize uh, the damage. We're also seeing strats from uh, Furball. One shot, one kill, but that destroyer or that uh, gunship is not going to survive. We might see an air fight, uh, and it looks like a line not coming in in one bunch, and he might pay the price here. Although there was questionable moves there by Furball, and now the lion is going to take air control quite easily. And that's a very big turn of events, especially for how not without any air support from either. Dim Furball is in quite a bit of trouble against Hawk. This might also turn the battle between uh, Penetrator and Dim. Penetrator uh, going in with a very nice looking Tech 2 uh, submarine force. If he doesn't have to worry about air and with some air, con air help, here we're seeing torpedo bombers from Lion, uh, Dim might be in a bit of trouble. Of course, the middle has been absolutely devastated, so perhaps Synth can use his advantage. Uh, to try to even this out somehow, but it will really be up to Furball to try to regain air control. If he doesn't, it's going to be extremely difficult. These torpedo bombers, we already see multiple torpedo bombers likely to come in and shift the battle. We're actually seeing a lot of these Tech 2 subs, they're still uh, alive, but a lot of destroyers from them. It's a very even battle. And now here come the torpedo bombers. They're going to go up against the cruisers. That was a nice uh, split of torpedoes. These two cruisers died nearly simultaneously. One more left. 
We see a couple ASF moving in from Furball trying to pick off those. Tech 3 bombers, looks like all the cruisers from Dim are now dead. That means the rest of his navy is now going to be uh, easy to kill. Although good moves from Furball here, he's moving in with single ASF trying to pick off the torpedo bombers. Sind also under heavy fire from navy. He is trying to use uh, artillery to counter this navy, but that's just a little too much I think, to deal with. He's going to try to survive for as long as possible. Now Stride Bombers from Furball, looks like he's going to try to help. I'm actually curious, this is four. Oh, and this is nice, I tee up with a nice na uh, land push. So I don't think Sind is going to be able to survive against both Navy and uh, land. Sind also has a land of his own, and it looks like Hal now moving in. Perhaps just in time, yeah, he's going to force, he's going to give a little bit of relief for Sind. So he can focus on fighting off this land force. And he should be able to do it. Got a bunch of tech one point defenses. Does not want to lose any of these already very expensive units. They're the only naval counter that he has. Meanwhile, Dim absolutely devastated from the air here. It's tech three uh, torpedo bombers. And if they start helping Hawk, that's basically going to be a very quick, very short game for HAL 9000. Stread bombers though from uh, Furball trying to help. Pretty good uh, looking Air Force, but I think it's uh, quite a few more uh, planes for line. Let's see the plan now for uh, M and B. He is going to go with shields. Yeah, that's really his only option. Shields and take two flak. And then uh, also torpedo bombs. So it looks like uh, torpedo launchers. He's going to try to uh, get as many units in this position and fight it. Right at his production with some shields. We are seeing this naval force. It's actually not that uh, big. A lot of Tech 1 and some Tech 2 submarines. So they might be in a position to fight this off. It appears Hal is still uh, all right. But we are seeing now a battleship from Hawk. Hawk still uh, not taking this island. And so far, quite a few destroyers for Hal against uh, Akuta, so that's pretty good. We're also seeing a lot of reclaim. This is a lot of very big chunks of mass. If Sin has the opportunity, he should come in and clean that up. But now we're seeing uh, multiple battleships actually now. And of course, these destroyers, his battleships completely outranged. And now uh, Dim here in survival mode. Good use of Tech 1 torpedo bombers, though you don't want to get close to those with any of these units. Nice use of shields as well. And gunships coming in from Lion. This is an opportunity you do not want to miss. Forcing uh, Dim out of the water. It's going to be a very difficult task, but if he can do it, you pretty much have won. Especially given what's going on on the other island. Still no experimentals here, minute 25. But a uh, spider has been started. These arties looks like are now going to shoot at uh, TF Chip thinking about a snipe. Send uh, telling uh, Hal he definitely needs to take three Navy because right now he's absolutely outranged. And this is a good move from Hawk. He's going to go ahead and grab this mess. Love to see that denied. Dim appears to have survived, and now his shields is going to move out with his Tech 2 Navy. And this looks like an opportunity lost. Of course, it was a very difficult task. And with Dim surviving, this game is still uh, very interesting. Let's see if we see any nukes, anything like that. Seen an anti nuke, strange position for an anti nuke. More Tech 3 power. Usually you want an antenna in a position where it covers as much of your base as possible. It really just covers the side. Of course, it might be in a better defensive position. More power for penetrator. And given three cyber players here, we just might see snipes from the bottom side if they need to. Hawk, uh, no 
anti nuke. Pretty much just naval production from Hawk, this game. Dim. Looks like more transports. Also, take three power, more drops coming in from Dim, and perhaps an air fight. Looks like Hawk was trying to tease Dim, drop enough engineers into the water. It's a very brave transport. It is not going to survive. Oh, this could be a mistake from uh, Lion. He's just. I think he's just trying to tease uh, Furball into following him. And it uh, looks like this Navy from uh, Penetrator is going to deny all those engineers trying to grab free mass. But this now is going to be a very powerful Seraph force. see a lot of flak there as well. Looks like uh, Penetrator is now going to focus on Sins in the middle who's working on a spider. Don't want to lose that half built. And of course Sin still with these already can begin to counter now uh, we are seeing uh, looks like a battle cruiser perhaps a mistake there from how if you're fighting battleships you need battleships battle cruisers get out range battle cruiser is very good against tech 2 navy and now we're just going to see bombardment from range from hawk eventually he will begin to get kills once all the shields are down the battle cruiser is going to be pretty nice but it will take a push. Uh, be you'll take aggression from Hal, which is really he's not in a position to be aggressive. Here. He just needs to bombard and uh, deny this bombardment. And it looks like perhaps an air fight over uh, Hawks uh, Navy. You've seen a lot of scouting from Furball. Perhaps he's going to try to snipe these. Of course, sniping a battleship takes a lot of. Uh, Oh, it looks like Sin here is going to lose his middle base. It's quite tragic. Spider about a third of the way done. He's also got all these nice arties, which are going to die. Sin actually might die here. Oh, that was it. Was that an overcharge or something? No, Dim is coming in. And Dim might be here just in time. Also, some uh, Tech 2 bombers. Sin trying to get more uh, shields, trying to survive. But Dim is going to force this uh, navy from Penetrator to st stop attacking Sin. So Sin here surviving for a very long time without too much naval support. But the navy from both uh, Hal and Dim coming in just in time, every time, to save him. And that could have been a mistake from Dim. This is a massive Tech 2 uh, submarine force. Are we going to see Tech 3 subs here soon? Yeah, we're going to see Tech 3 subs from Dim. He's working on one Tech 3 and two Tech 2 shipyards. Meanwhile, Hal here in survival mode. This battle cruiser with zero kills is going to die. This is why you want to get battleships. Restores from uh, Furball. Perhaps the last chance here for Hal. Looks like Sin is now rebuilt. Still has all four of his uh, protective uh, artilleries. And this is now getting a very big spam. All tech two from the penetrator. Dim retreats. But Dim with a pretty big uh, shield spam. Hawk still hasn't taken this island. I think he's just not even trying to take that island. And now a major fight looks like Hawk moving in with his massive force five battleships. And really not much hope left for uh, Hal. Hal does have his first battleship now. And total air domination. Really not Hal's fault here. Not much that he can do. Although a couple more battleships and shields would have definitely helped. And once uh, this navy is lost. Hawk, of course, can go to work with his battleships on uh, Send, and Send has a very good looking base, a whole bunch of Tech 3 mass structures, which are all going to be lost. Perhaps a Megalith from uh, Send would be a good idea, or uh, Scathus, if he can afford it. Scathus will be very good at denying that Navy. 
a whole bunch of torpedo bombers from uh, Sin and try to help uh, them out. Then with some uh, Tech 3 subs. And it looks like all this, uh, this is a lot of mass to reclaim for the penetrator. And now an air fight, that's why things are slowing down. Let's see how this works out. Definitely the correct place to fight if you're furball. It's going to be a lot of replay. Hawk a little bit uh, out of the battle for some reason. Oh, this is so much take three anti air. This is not where you want to fight. I think there's a possibility topside is going to get air control, which is going to be very timely. With enough air, you can deny a cyber navy. Good stuff from a line. He's going to try to grab basically a house dead uh, navy. And yeah, this is uh, this is getting quite brutal. I think air control is going to shift to the top side. Meanwhile, all oh, these are nice tech two submarines getting behind. The one tech three sub is going to outrange these. Meanwhile, Sin looks like nearly done with his experimental. Still in survival mode. And so much reclaim. So much reclaim plus air. Nope. It appears that Furball still lost air, but just barely. How now getting bombarded? And uh, this is now basically game over for How. He's going to have to give up most of his base. He's in full retreat, taking his AC on some engineers into the mountains. And is this, this is a nuke. Furball now has a nuke. Let's see how that works out. So there was some hope there for the top side. It is much less now, given that they didn't win air. <clears throat> but this is going to be a lot of reclaiming for Furball. You gotta do something about these destroyers which are now on land. We're expecting experimental. Love to see a line get an experimental here to push back. And now Sin's base is gonna be under attack as well. And Megalith now for Sin. And where did his spider go? Oh, here it is. The spider's actually quite a bit of damage. Not really sure what hit him. And we can see now Hawk has completely switched what he's producing. He has one navy, he's got plenty of battleships, probably got about eight of them. He's now going to switch to power and the nukes. He's got an anti nuke. He's going to try to affect other places on the map. Meanwhile, Dim and uh, Penetrator are still going at it. But now with Dim, with a lot of shields and now Tech 3 submarines. Although this is a lot of destroyers for uh, penetrators, so it should be quite close, but I would expect them to win this. Let's see how long Sin survives past uh, 30 minutes here. Still alive in the middle. <clears throat> Our restorers are going to be used. Not an experimental, but restorers are going to deny all these. Uh, ships, but this is huge reclaim. Furball, more power, and of course I have Rianne. Some GCs planned. One thing that happens in this game, of course, mass is not really conserved, but oh, while I'm talking, we got a donut that has the potential to kill somebody. Let's see what happens with the donut. More donuts coming in for Lion is that mass uh, is always produced, the total amount of mass is always increasing on this map it's from the beginning of the game and quite a bit of it is uh, now in Rex a lot of it is in uh, live units, a lot of it is in Rex but it's all potential mass for you to get in turn units that belong to you now there's a lot of those opportunities for the, uh, the top side given all this reclaim, even though they lost that air fight really overall it was a victory but now it looks like it's going to be the end for Sin. It's going to go out with style. 
I'm going to try to run into the water, perhaps. See a nice shadow there. And it is going to be a GG. Getting killed by the donut. Well played, first player. We killed him at 34. Really no fault of his own. Fighting against two different navies, the mid player, and finally gets killed by the back player. Let's see, we gonna see might see another air battle here. Donut uh, still flying over the middle. I'll finish off the rest of Sin's defenses and then uh, perhaps continue on. Some chickens for M and B. Great targets of course for that donut will be the Antinux. The donut is quite vulnerable if he gets close. One pass from all these A7 furball will kill it. Perhaps that's what exactly what uh, furball needs to do. You do not want to lose any anti nukes here in this situation, given that there is a, a nuke almost complete for uh, Akuto. It looks like they're playing with no give. Really didn't make much difference here, but very surprised. And actually, this is one direction that you do not want to go if you're a uh, lion. This Tsar is going to be very vulnerable. A lot of take three anti air here. Also, flak. But you want to kill it now. Looks like we are going to see this air battle. Some pausing going on. And I think the lion just made a mistake. This donut is going to die very quickly. Actually, not as quickly as I thought. No, it's going to die. It might kill a couple of those tech 3 pigeons, but not much more than that. Looks like Hawk was out of position. Very disappointing. Furball here really was at uh, the mercy of the donut. And really, what they should have done is first to win air and then move in. But Furball just surviving, keeping this game going. Penetrator still surviving here against, uh, well, not really surviving, but a very even battle. Now moving to the battleship phase. And quite a few Tech 3 submarines here. Doing a good job, also a lot of shields. So, still not clear. We have seen total domination by Hawk, of course. Uh, we are seeing some fatties from uh, HAL. Hawk trying to deny air production, but a lot of tech 3 air. And this game is really not going to move to who can kill whose anti nukes. Definitely an advantage for the bottom side, but they do not want to screw things up if they do. The, other, the top side still in a very good position to counter. Now strats and another donut for a line. Well, oh, now we got our first nuke. This one is from uh, Furball. Let's see how that works out. Not really sure where that's going to go. We are seeing uh, TF running. There's a very good anti nuke here, which is not loaded, but if it gets loaded, it'll cover most of the bases. Looks like Hawk had to retreat with his ASF. And this is a lot of tech to air from MNB. Again, a very good looking base, a lot of tech to air. This is not where you want to fly. He only has one anti nuke, however, he probably wants to get a couple more. And in terms of Navy, he's still surviving quite well. And Seraphim, where did this thing go? Oh, oh, looks like he got TFP. He, he guessed where he's going to move. So both mid players are now dead. He shot exactly where I had walked. That's a seeking nuclear missile here. Fatty here from Mahal is going to deny some of these engineers. So that's a good move. Still plenty of reclaim. And that's one thing that the top side do have a lot of reclaim. And it looks like a couple of ASF here from Furball are going to sabotage these uh, stride bombers. Great move from Furball. So the top side not ready to give up yet. Looks like they're playing with no give, which is absolutely insane. 
I don't understand, but it is happening. It's still a very even battle of a huge destroyer force. A lot of tech three subs and uh, see more tech three subs and destroyers from uh, Dim. Now I just see moving through the middle with some flak from uh, Furwall. It does appear that uh, a lion is in position to start reclaiming and yet another donut is coming out. All the metal reclaim is going to belong to a uh, lion. It's just seeming while under assault from those battleships. Stride bombers for Hawk as well. Hawk extremely good at using his bombers. Got a lot of power storage, so Hawk perhaps thinking about some teleports. Hawk, of course, known for his uh, teleporting. Dim beginning to get pushed back. But I think once Dim destroys uh, all those destroyers, just the battleships are not going to be enough to deny him. But this air can definitely shift things. We'll see how far this donut gets. GC meanwhile already halfway on his health, most likely he's going to die to the donut. And I'll try bombers coming in from Hawk, but they're flying into a cloud of ASF. A mistake from Hawk. None of them actually dropped anything, so a total waste. About 10 bombers. And this is not where we'll fight. I think there's, if there's another fight over enemy territory, the bottom side is in a position to lose air. But Donut, meanwhile, it's got to come in, it's got to kill at least one anti nuke. I would love to see uh, Dim get yet another, he's only working on one. Makes him quite vulnerable. And Dim making just roll his tech 3 anti air. And yet another air battle. While the Donut moving toward uh, fur bomb. Let's see how far the donut gets over the stack 3 A. Strategic launch detected. Yet another nick. This is from Hawk. Oh and Hawk just teleported. I think he just took out the anti great move from Hawk. Hawk not trying to get out. Looks like he'll be able to get out in time. The donut moving in against Furball. Furball not reacting fast enough. And looks like it's going to be game over for Furball against the Donut. It's going to fall right on his head. Still above 12,000 health, I believe. The crash death from the Donut. Oh no, it's not 10,000. We just saw some submarines hit him. So now Furball is going to die against that uh, air crash. There and for actually a nuke flying here as well. And looks like at this point, uh, Dim has decided to throw in a towel as well. He did survive very well against Penetrator, a very even fight, but really it was the air that won this one. Perhaps those early drops from Furball were a mistake, and uh, that first air fight with Furball was. Uh, rather strange the way it happened and from then on it was really the top side on the back foot gotta say pretty good play from Hal still has his uh, island but going up against Hawk a very big disadvantage of course Panchard played very well against Dim usually Dim is expected to win from Rock against Beach hopefully people enjoyed this one